Well, more damage has been revealed from the over 100 hours our temperature spent below freezing over the last week. And this is coming from the Newton Falls School District this time. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier shows it to us and shares the district's response. That's the sound of nightmares for Newton Falls School's interim superintendent, Justin Christopher. On Christmas Eve, a fire sprinkler froze and burst, spreading water throughout the high school. We were lucky that um, we, had, we had someone in the community that actually spotted the water um, coming out of the school and they notified the uh, joint fire district right away. Two inches of water spread through the high school wing, damaging offices and classrooms. The flooding also damaged the school's gym floor, which was replaced in 2020, forcing them to change their girls' and boys' varsity and junior varsity basketball schedules. Four local schools, Lordstown, Wyndham, LeBray, and Jackson Milton, are letting the program relocate their home games and practices. It's great that we have these great neighbors that have been helping us out with, uh, with our basketball relocation. Christopher estimates it'll take a month to resand and fix the gym floor. And while crews work to dry out classrooms, they rearrange classes to allow everyone to return. And so right now we're looking at a possibility of three classrooms being relocated to alternate um, uh, settings. Classes will go on as scheduled January 3rd. In Newton Falls, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News.